Hey guys, it's me, Desiree Marie. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for joining me here on this channel, all of my new subbies and those that are watching for the first time, um, and all of my old subbies as well. I love talking about my hair, my lock journey, and I share everything here. If you're looking for tips and tricks though, like I haven't, I haven't learned everything there is to learn so I'm not a lot guru I will not sit here and tell you what to do with your hair but I will show you how my journey is going all of the ups and downs um, in hopes that you learn from some of my blurbs and mistakes I keep it real here on this channel so you always have something to kind of be entertained with and also kind of come away from the video with you know you have a lesson learned in your mind based on my ups and downs <laughs> but um yeah thank you guys for clicking on this video now I know if you've been watching me for a while you know that I've been documenting my hair journey especially since I am pregnant right now I am nine months pregnant but I think it was more towards the second trimester I was starting to see changes in my hair. I was starting to see that my roots were not locking every time I would retwist and then two weeks later wash my hair I realized that my roots were coming back to looking puffy and almost afro-ish like as if my hair was just content with just being an afro and it felt like there was like my hair was not shedding on the inside in order to keep the form of my retwist so that my hair can eventually lock and continue to grow as a whole lock um, I hope that makes sense but my hair just was not locking it was not I, I started to realize and see also I learned from some of you guys that when you are pregnant your hair <clears throat> your hair is not shedding um, as it would normally but when you do um, have the baby and you enter postpartum um, your, your postpartum season your hair starts to shed a whole lot so my hair right now is not shedding at all and thus it's been really hard to maintain um, my retwists I've been going up and down whether or not I sh what I should do with it um, I always show you guys everything that I do with it um, I keep my my roots moisturized and nourished nonetheless um, but I have made the decision to retwist every two weeks just so that even if the retwist doesn't last just so that my roots are um, in its right just so that my hair is growing in the right places and not crossing over because Personally, I don't wish for my hair to marry and for it to grow differently away from the lock. I don't wish to grow semi freeform locks. I want to, not that I'm think, not that I want manicured locks, but I just want my locks to grow where it should. Even if it does look a little messy, it's okay. Like, as long as my locks are growing as it should. Um, and forming the way that it should. Um, now I don't have anything against semi freeform locks, of course, because I have definitely done my share of semi freeforming in the past um, so that my hair could kind of experience that um, added thickness and volume and stuff like that. And it's been great in the past, but right now it's like I'm subject to doing the same thing without me really wanting to because my locks. My, my roots are not marrying, uh, not locking. <laughs> um, please excuse me, I have a lot of brain fart moments. Prego brain, just blame that, okay? <laughs> but um, I've been getting so many suggestions from you guys and I'm so grateful every time I get suggestions because it shows that you are just invested on this journey as I am and we are a community. Um, but I've been getting a lot of suggestions about interlocking and Desiree why don't you just interlock your hair you know it will help you blah 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 guys I interlocked one time before of course before I was pregnant of course um, this was what, a year ago last year I think I believe it was last year 
yeah maybe a little over a year ago that my mom um, I came on here and I recorded that my mom interlocked my hair for the first time and at the moment it was great but I realized shortly after that that I did not I did not like interlock the interlocking method as much as I do with the retwisting method interlocking for me it feels like it is an unnatural way of stifling the hair into place for me <laughs> I'm not talking about anybody else I'm coming from my experience for me it felt like my hair was was manipulated in a way that was unnatural my hair previously was so used to being retwisted and palm rolled that's how I maintained my hair but when I had it interlocked it felt more of like a it felt more stifled plus um the length of my locks felt more thin it didn't feel as malleable and it didn't feel very flexible like it normally does it didn't feel like it even expanded like normally when i would wash my hair um my locks expand back because when it gets dry and my hair tells me that it needs a wash it starts to feel really stringy and thin but when I wash my hair it's almost like my locks relax like a woosa and it just thickens back up again that didn't happen when I interlocked my locks uh, when I had my locks interlocked also when I uh, finally did grow well okay let's before we get to that when I would do different styles I realized that the styles looked more limp they did not look Full. they didn't look you know like it naturally does it looked more limp on the limp side like my roots were flat and I had say if, it, if I wanted to put my hair in curls my roots were flat but I had curls and it just didn't it just didn't sit with me um, even though I don't want um, I don't want my roots to grow out of control I do want it to grow I do want the choice to grow it out a little bit if I wanted that extra volume on top when I have my curls or you know when I want a certain look I didn't have that choice I had to wait for my roots to grow out in order to have that volume again and I actually was wondering whether my hair was changing after it, it was interlocked um, after I got my hair interlocked, I was wondering, oh my gosh, is my hair changing? Is it never going to go back to it looking voluminous again? Thankfully, after I grew it out, it took months, okay? It took maybe three, four months for my hair to finally look the way that it does when it grows out a little bit. And so I was able to more so do the styles that I normally do and get the results that I want but I also realized that as my hair grew out I saw where I the the point where the lock was interlocked and that just makes me think about my assumption before getting interlocks that interlocks kind of impact the hair so much so that the hair is so tight and it does not expand and eventually it looks thin it grows out to look thin or it grows out to thin out the rest of your hair if you decide that you wanted to retwist um, so I didn't like that there were spots in my hair that I could identify exactly where I interlocked I didn't like that my desired lock look is for my locks to be even you know like yeah my desire is for my locks to grow out even not for it to be and I don't care about bumpy looks but I don't want it to look thick in one area and then one and then there's a certain area where it looks so tight and impacted and then it continues to grow thick it just doesn't it just doesn't sit well with me interlocking when I think about it as well I don't believe that that's the best route for me to go right now especially seeing that my roots are not locking it 
I'm not shedding any hair right now because I am pregnant. If I was to interlock these roots, it's going to further thin out my locks so much so that when my hair does start to shed again, that shed hair has nowhere to go because that interlocked piece of my hair is not open enough to accept the shed hairs. If that makes sense, guys. It, it's something that's in my mind. I'm trying so hard to make it make sense. And I'm kind of out of breath even trying to make it make sense. But my hair is not shedding right now. Hey guys, it's me from the editing phase. I realized that shortly after editing this video, some of the footage was not properly um, uploaded. But I, I understand that there are different ways to interlock. You have the four point method and you've got the two point method. But, um, and this kind of ties back to knowing your hair and knowing your texture for yourself before, I guess, taking on other people's um, advice and stuff like that. I'm so grateful for you guys' advice, but I know my hair and the texture is not thick at my roots where I feel like interlocking will benefit it. It will actually weaken my lock in the long run when it does grow out. So that's what I was trying to say before that if I interlock now, my roots right now, the result is going to come out thinner than the rest of my lock and it's not going to fully accept all of the shed hairs once my hair does start to shed. And I'm not even sure what that process is gonna look like when I do um, enter into the postpartum stage of this pregnancy. I don't even know what my hair is gonna do. So interlocking seems so much more like a commitment that I'm not exactly ready to take right now because I don't know enough about it as well. So it's scary. It's scary to go ahead and not you know not up my my roots and just fully trust that the process is going to work out for my good in the long run so um i don't have anything wrong you know i don't have anything against interlocking you know other people it works out so great for them but for me i just feel like i get a more natural look when i retwist my roots i get more versatility um, I feel like my hair grows a lot better that way just because of the texture that comes out of my roots. Um, and then I don't know how to interlock my hair for myself. I'd have to call up my mom and she's in the next state. <laughs> so every time I would need to uh, get my hair interlocked, I would have to call her up and that's just bizarre. Um, also, I, I was about to make a point and I forgot the point just that fast. Oh, okay, so when you're, I don't know enough about this part either, so I'm not gonna even pretend like I'm some expert. Because like I said, I don't know a whole lot about interlocking, but I don't quite know if it's the healthiest thing to um, go back and forth between different methods. Because I love to retwist, I know that I'm not gonna be interlocking faithfully. Um, if I, it, if I, even if I was to decide to get my roots interlocked, I would eventually want to go back to retwisting and I'm not quite sure if that is the right thing to do because when you switch between two different methods you kind of see that along the length of your locks and I really want more than you know polished look neatness or anything like that I really want my locks to be consistent along the length of my my hair I don't want you know this place to look thinner than that place and I've already got some of that going on in my head right now and I really don't want that um, you know interlocking to be the cause of yet another thing that's happening you know so I, switching between two different methods just doesn't sit right with me I'd rather just continue the same thing over and over and over again um, and I'd rather just continue retwisting my roots, even though it's not really doing a lot because when you guys see me in my wash day routines and my weekly uh, vlogs, it doesn't do much. After I wash my hair, I show you guys like the roots are just right out. And then just another point to drive to you guys. Um, 
I've got inches of new growth. It's not even just one inch where it's like, oh, you know what? I'll just interlock that. That's, that's no, no problem, you know? Boom, boom, bam, right? This, these are like six inches of new growth that, that constantly unravels every time I wash my hair. So if I interlock that six inches, I understand that I am definitely changing the traje trajectory of my hair journey. It's going to grow out differently from the other, from whatever I've got going on here. So, um, like I said, interlocking is not bad for everyone. I'm not here to give any advice to nobody. <laughs> I'm here just letting you know, kind of ranting and, and talking it out um, for myself what I plan to do with my hair. And I don't, like I said, I don't, I don't really like interlocking for me. So most likely you will never see me do it again <laughs> not that my mom did a bad job she did a great job like she interlocks her hair and it works for her um even though i believe that she can probably retwist her hair and get more fullness because she's been talking about you know she doesn't get fullness as much um and i realized that she does interlock and then she does um constrict the rest of her locks so if she was to retwist faithfully instead um, her locks would be able to expand a little bit more, but, um, for me, I'm probably not going to do it again. <laughs> I, I'm just going to weather this out and, um, keep retwisting my roots, even though it keeps unraveling and just show you guys what that looks like from here on. So <laughs> I hope I haven't bored you with this like blurb of random thoughts and stuff like that. Um, I know some of you guys interlock and it works great for you and you really want me to do it, but I'm just here to let you know, I see what it did to my hair before and I, it was not lining up with what I truly want. Neat locks are not really worth, I, I don't want neat, I, I, it's so hard to explain. I don't want this polished look. You guys know me. I'm not the polished girl. But if I can have some kind of consistency going on, great. Even if it's a little fuzzy, I'm okay with that. Um, I don't care for polished locks that that look stick straight all the time and never have anything going on. It's not bumpy, you know. And I love the different personalities that my different locks have, and I understand that they're going to have differences in thickness and all sorts of stuff, but. I'd rather have some consistency at the roots so that I know that my locks will grow the way that I want it to instead of um, having that neat look because I don't really need that, honestly. <sighs> I'm out of breath again. <laughs> so anyway, this was fun. Um, let me know your thoughts down below. Be nice, okay? <laughs> share your thoughts down below. What is your preferred method? Um, we can share without, you know, battling or arguing anything. Do you like to retwist, palm roll, or do you like to interlock? What is your preferred method? What are your thoughts? And yeah, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Subscribe, tell a friend, and I'll see you later. Bye.